Hi everyone, my name is Ibel Gray Kantoma. I'm from Greatest Card Design Concept. This is actually my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number. You can even call me, okay? Um, these are the list of softwares which we have covered on our YouTube channel, okay? Uh, you can follow us on our YouTube channel. The link down below the description of this video, you'll find a link to this channel there, okay? Um, we teach all of these softwares on our Telegram platform for a little token okay i will guide you through the process of design we'll give you the software guide you on how to install and crack them and then we'll also teach you how to come about your design using each of these softwares until you attain mastery okay uh today i'm going to be showing you how to design your staircase there are a lot of questions coming how do we design do does a uh, proto structure design staircase yes it does okay i'm going to be showing you how to design your staircase using your proto structure okay now to design your staircase on proto structure um you can see and uh, attached to proto structure when you install it you have proto detail you have proto steel and then you have proto structure okay i'm going to be showing you all of that right now uh, you can see on my screen here i have proto structure proto detail i have proto structure and then i have proto steel as you can see here now I'm going to double click on Prota uh, Detail. Once I double click on my Prota Detail, um, I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to name it Stairs. Sorry, Stairs. And then I'll click on OK. Okay, here yeah, I'm going to click on UKBS8110 and I'll import. Okay, uh, these are different templates. You can decide to use a uh, euro code, whatever code you want to use, whatever uh, code of practice you want to use is actually allowed. Okay, they are just more like a template. Okay, uh -huh. now I'm going to start by creating a new drawing. Okay, now um, here you see here we have stairs. I'm going to click on stairs, and then um, it depends on how your staircase is where you have maybe you have look at supported by outer edge you have a support at this edge you have a support at this edge uh here is actually free here is actually free you can use this uh now we have uh, you know we have a uh, straight flight different kinds of stairs we have straight flight uh we have a uh, dog leg uh we have a uh, helical stairs we have a uh, spiral uh, we have a um, um open well okay so whatever kinds of stairs you want to actually design you can see here here you can see down below here we have spiral here we have double uh -huh, armed okay uh -huh. these are the most common type this is the most common type here you can see here we have your straight flight here here you can see here we have our uh, spiral stairs so whichever type of stairs you want to design um, this actually covers uh, for spiral and then um, um, it covers for spiral okay this is spherical uh -huh. and then this covers for this as well okay now uh, let's say I want to design for for this where normally we have our support on this edge this edge and this edge okay and then the story height is for example three meters and then the stairs width let's say is 1000 um, 1200 for example and then the story landing width um let's say is 1200 as well and then um intermediate landing width now you can see it is actually uh, interactive this is BSK this is BSA look at it BSK BSA so you can see the diagram here what as you make every changes here it reflects on this other side okay so it's very much easy to use it is very much interactive okay now you can see here the intermediate landing width I can decide to make this 1200 as well okay and then the plate thickness i'm going to leave it as it is i'm going to leave here to uh, the way it is okay 
um, if I come down to stairs uh, hole this hole here here I can decide uh, to change that um, for example let's say it's 150 okay you discover you can see it has reduced and then the number of steps I'm going to leave it as 18 these are the steps if you count this here is 9 if you count here is 9 all together now makes it 18 okay the steps width okay that's your um, your thread okay it is called thread uh, I can decide to make it 300 okay and then my riser is actually 150 which is okay additional dead load I'm going to leave all of this live load dead load now based on British standard I'm going to leave all of this okay as the way it is uh, supported width I'm going to leave it as it is uh, supported uh, height I'm actually going to leave it as it is now you can see here I will just click on redesign and you can see all these have been designed for us all this has been designed you see the river underneath the section draw river on the plan all these are going to be uh, drawn for us even the quantity table as well but whatever I don't want uh, to appear in my detailing and my report I will just uncheck them here I can uncheck it here okay for example if I want uh, to draw a river on the plan uh, that's river means a uh, reinforcement bars okay it's just a, a short form of saying reinforcement okay reinforcement bars okay draw a rebars on on the plan okay annotate rebar on in section if I don't want uh, uh, like the labeling okay on the section of our uh, reinforcement I can uncheck this okay uh, the quantity table okay if I don't want it to appear I will just uncheck on that and that's all and it's going to do that for me now in my design report I can print it out all I just need to do is just to click on this I've clicked or it's going to load <coughs> it may take time but it's going to load as you can see it's saying we should please wait okay it's loading now here I can actually print this as a PDF I can actually make this as a Microsoft Word okay I can even print it out as an image okay for those that uh, it's easier to print it out as um, PDF but just for example maybe you want to actually make some changes here maybe checked by calculated by maybe the name of the engineer maybe the person who did this design you can actually just specify his name it's better you actually export it to Microsoft Word where you have um, the advantage of uh, editing whatever you want to actually edit you can actually make some changes to whatever that is actually here but mainly it's it's important you do it this way so as uh, to make every changes before you actually print this you can see this is actually just uh, your report I can close this uh, and then uh, the next thing I will do here I will just uh, click on detail drawings and then you see it on our screen I'll just click anywhere on uh, the window and then uh, allow it to load it to load uh -huh. now you have your staircase okay if you already love what you're seeing why not give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel is actually free click on the bell icon so as to get a notification whenever I post videos I post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily so as to encourage as many that want to have a deeper insight of design okay make sure that you stay safe and make sure that you stay blessed thank you